and welcome to our second video. I know we're gonna say we're gonna do a few more of these. Uh, we had some stuff happen in the last month, so we're gonna keep these coming at you. So today we're doing an unboxing. We got some boxes from DC's Legion of Collectors. The first box, we're gonna just fly through it because it's an old box and most of you have already seen what's in it and we kind of know already what's in it. The second box is new to us. We don't know what's in it. It's this month's Legion of Collectors box and it is the TV, the DC TV box. So real quick, let's run through this one. This is the Batman versus Superman box. Really nice box right there. You got Batman on it. What do you think of the movie? Yeah, it was pretty good. Loved it. Mecha like Batman. I mean, I liked it. Um, a lot of people were hating on it. Obviously, we got the new one that just came out, and it was uh, the new um, Civil War that just came out. And I mean, that movie was just perfection. But it held its own. So starting off, we got some pretty cool art in here. We'll get some close-ups of it. Nice. We got, um, yeah, you know, the Trinity in here. We got Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman in here. Pretty good. So off the bat, we have this Superman Legion of Collectors pin. Pretty cool. Nice. Uh, I myself am a huge Man of Steel guy, so a lot of Man of Steel stuff will be staying with me. As for my co-host here, John, he will be uh, taking a lot of the Wonder Woman stuff. <laughs> yeah, of course. You um, know. We got a badge here, uh, patch. Wonder Woman Legion of Collectors, still cool. I mean, we're not hating or anything like that. Let's, let's dive into this thing real quick so we get the yellow one. So off the bat, already, pretty sick. It's a t-shirt, Batman vs. Superman. Let's get into this thing real quick. Yep. Let's see what we got here. And, oh, that's legitness. Oh, snap, that's a Legitness, ladies and gentlemen. Badass shirt. Yeah, like a classic look to it. Batman Turn versus little. Superman. Um, nice. Pretty cool. I like the thing. As you can see, it's like Funko branded on the label. No tags. Thank oh. you, Funko. That's the way to go. All right. The, the one thing we've been waiting for that we want to add to our collection. We have the Justice League kind of forming there. No with way. With the pops. No and way. Ladies and gentlemen, Mecha Batman. Can I hold it? You may hold it. We've been going crazy for this Mega Batman. Everywhere we looked, it was like 30 bucks, it's, 40 bucks. It's and we're just, like, we're just like, man, this is... I'm gonna pay 30 or 40 bucks, but now we got in the collector's box. Yeah. You will be added to... Let's go ahead and just pull up yes. with, with this one. Yeah. There you go. Do you of, bleed? We're on top of soups. Tell me, do you bleed? So I got these band-aids. Um, okay. So I haven't started collecting these. We will probably start now. Yeah. It's the um, orbs? The orbs? We got Superman and Aquaman in here. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Get that in there. We'll get some tight sh tighter shots for you guys. But um, pretty cool. I like these. Um, as you can see, we have. I don't know if you can see there, but we have the Walmart um Batman versus Superman combo with they're like kind of glow in the dark, funky green. Uh, something else in here. And oh, it's a Batman versus Superman comic. Pretty cool. The front. I like the uh, little art on that. Okay. Um. Probably looking closer was Jim Lee. I love Jim Lee's art. We'll get a closer a close up of that for you guys. But definitely cool box. Um, yeah, the boxes. Yeah, it's crazy because I'm like, all right, we're still the box away. Now I can't no, even throw no, the box okay, away. No. The boxes are can't just are it. just too awesome. So yeah, that's damn you, Funko, for just populating my house with stuff. But um, and we also want to thank them for giving us the the first one. We did sign up and they were gracious enough to give us the first one off the bat. So thank you, Funko. You guys pretty much run my house, as you see here. We have tons of Funko stuff going on. So that's Batman vs Superman. The new one that came this month, we don't know what's in here. Um, this is the DC Legion of Collectors box for TV. Um, obviously the TV shows, um, we got Arrow, we got Flash, um, Legions of, no, Legends of Tomorrow, yep. and Supergirl. Um, love them all. If I had to rate them, I would tell you right now Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, and, and Legends only because um, Flash is just, it's on another level right now. I, I, Flash, I totally agree with you, bro. when they go on break, it kills us. We just finished watching the episode directed by Kevin Smith right now. Kevin Smith, I mean, great job. He, he knows what he's doing. I mean, he knows the universe. He's a comic book freak like like us. Clark. So he knows what he's doing. Great episode. And it's an episode that wasn't jam-packed with action. It was just a, it's a, it was a beautiful episode. Um, but we're, we're going to do a, 
a season review of, of Flash prior towards the when once it ends. I mean, season one ended on a note that we're just like, are you crazy? And now we gotta wait four months for it to come back. Anyways, yeah. To this, I mean, you're the one that got me into Arrow in the first place, right? Yeah, I know, right? I didn't want to watch Arrow. I was no. I was more into um, I like Smallville, and I was very um committed to Justin Hartley being Green Arrow. Um, I'm a like I said, I'm a Superman guy, and I really loved Smallville. Even though towards the end it did start getting you know kind of flaky, the writers thing happened. Um, but overall, Smallville loved it, and I was sold on him. So I didn't give Arrow a fair shot because sure, they, they 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 got Stephen Amell, who I wasn't familiar with. Um, he was on the football show. What is it called? Uh, Blue Mountain State. Blue Mountain State as a quarterback who uh, was with a tranny hooker. <laughs> So I could I didn't know how much I could, could believe yeah. that Oliver Queen would uh, be with a tranny hooker. But anyways, we're gonna move on. Yeah. Cover is the Green Arrow or Arrow, Ollie. He's on there. So let's go ahead and open this. Like I said, I don't know what's in here. I'm really this one. I'm stoked about. I don't know what we're gonna get. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for certain things. Yeah. But that's this. Let's uh, get this thing open. So this one is a little harder than the other one to open. Yeah. It's a little tighter. All right. So. Like the first one, oh man, that's sick. Like the yeah. first one, we have art. Actually, it's a little spread out, the art. Yeah. We have Superman, Batman, Flash. Aqu I mean, we have the Justice League in here. Yeah. Hot Girl, Wonder yeah, Woman. You can never throw away his box. Maybe yeah, Superman. Yeah, these, I mean, the boxes themselves are collector things. Um, I'll get I'll get you in tighter there, but excellent. Excellent, love it. Um, Starting off, we have... Uh, See, we have uh, another pin, yep. kind of like the Superman one, if you will. Um, this one is Adam Ray Palmer, who um, I, I feel bad for um, Brandon Routh. I actually have a Superman Returns poster looking right at us. And um, I feel like he was given an unfair shot to play Superman because it wasn't his fault. He did the best he could, and I was into his Clark Kent Superman. He was pretty much basing it on Chris Reeves. Is um Superman and I, I I loved his version of it. Just the story wasn't there. You have a Superman movie with no action. So um, Brandon Ralph, I'm glad he got his second chance. Like most people now are getting, you know, Ben Affleck got Batman from Daredevil. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds got um, a second chance doing Deadpool. Fantastic. Oh, and he was um Hal Jordan. So anyways, the Adam Legion of Collectors pin. Yeah. We'll get we'll get a close up of that. Yeah. And the patch. I think the patches are like. Uh, more towards the uh, Supergirls, the, super, the, the women. Yeah, um, yeah. We got Legion Collector's pin, uh, patch, Supergirl. Um, loving Supergirl. Yeah. I I was a little skeptical at first when Supergirl came out. I'm like, how, how are you going to do this without having Superman? They do it pretty well. The crossover with Flash was, was great. I loved it. Um, and I mean, Martian Manhunter. That was a, they did spot on. Uh, Martian Manhunter. I, he I wish was, he was in the Justice League, bro. <laughs> he was. He is probably my favorite character on this yeah. show. Yeah. And the, the actor portraying him is, is great. Um, let's get into this bad boy, shall we? Okay. okay. All right. So we got the T-shirt. The yeah. T-shirt is uh, an it? Arrow shirt. Yeah. This, oh, is, this is mine. Yeah, yeah. This is totally mine. I have a. Th I, I am. Yeah, I, I am the bigger Arrow guy yeah, fan, even though he's the one that got me into it. Yeah. I'm the. I'm the the Oliver. Yeah, guys, sure yours, this bro. is. No, Let this, me see. I gotta see that, man. Oh, oh, wow. Those this colors. thing is legit. I love, I'm not Funny alive. enough, he's the lime green guy. Yeah, but. But, no, man. This shirt is. This, this shirt, is. I, I think that's one of the raw. Arrow shirt. Star City. Only oh weapon. my God! Star City on there. Only what? Star City. Only weapon. Oliver Queen, bro. Oh, that. Nicely done. Nicely done, Funko. This shirt is, too legit. Legitness no. across the board. No quit. <laughs> We don't quit. All right, we're gonna go into it. We got a comic book, a Flash comic book, Legion of Collectors Flash comic book. Wow. With um, Barry Allen, Gus, G Grant Gustin yeah, on Grant it. Gustin. Um, From Glee. I, I have nothing against um, Ezra Miller playing the new Flash, but I mean, I am so, like, this is my Flash. My son's Flash. My son, this is my son's favorite show. And he is, this Barry Allen, um, yeah. Grant Gustin, thank you for bringing this character to life. You are so spot on and I love everything you're doing with the character. Just love it. Oh man. Oh wow. Oh man, wow. We even talked about this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's a version of it. Oh wow, dude. Holy crap. Yes, yes and yes. We have Funko's, ladies and gentlemen, Jay Garrett. 
Or should we say Zoom? <laughs> right. Hope no spoilers if you haven't oh, seen the season. Thanks, that. John. Sorry. Um, Jay Garrett. This this is a, an awesome film. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Garrett. So, He's got the, the, the tin hat. Do we the put suit. Him with the, the we'll put him on this side. Yeah. Um, I like I said. I love what they're doing with this season. This season's incredible. The Flash. Yeah. It over. It shadows last season. And I didn't think they were gonna be able to top Reverse Flash um, yeah, at all. Professor Wells, um, Eobar Thawne, and man, Zoom just—I I, I was kind of hoping it would be a Zoom pop, but hey, man, Jake no, Garrett, no, all the no, way. No, that's good, yeah. Love Jake Garrett. Yeah, we're gonna put you over here with, uh, with Oliver Queen yeah. and the rest of your TV friends. Yeah. See what else we got going on in here. Oh. This is for the uh, ladies or the collectors, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, it is a Supergirl rock. Rock Candy Vinyl Collectible. I like the look of it. It's very elegant, very um, old school, stylish, if you will. So very nice overall. Um, these these boxes are too much. Is that all? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Dude, the art in these things. Yeah, I know. The art in these things are ridiculous. But um, um, great. Love love everything that came in these things. These things are are incredible. Um, thank you Funko for the the boxes. Um. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. We'll be doing these probably every month. The next box, I believe, is the Suicide Squad. Oh, They are doing a box for Suicide Squad. So that's going to be a good one. I'm really, really excited for that one. That movie's going to be crazy. I mean, just watching the previews and stuff like that. Um, Jared Leto, it looks like he is not going to miss a beat as his version of Joker. Um, I'm totally for Harley Quinn. Yeah. She is... She's, I mean, Margaret Robbie is just yeah. beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. And you're, you're her, cool. her craziness looks like it's going to be spot on. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we look, we look, we definitely look forward to the, the next box, the movies. We'll be doing some movie reviews. We'll be doing some trailer reactions. We'll be doing some show reactions. Um, real quick, the last first episode that we did, um, or I did, um, we, thought, we said we were going to talk about Superman versus Batman. Just to give you a brief overview, I know everybody's seen it. Um, we loved it. It was a movie for the fans. Yeah. A lot of people said they put too much information into it or it, it felt like it was all over the place. You have to understand, DC needs to play catch up with Marvel. And um, it was, a, it was a, a really good movie. I personally, as a Superman guy, felt that it was felt like a Batman movie with Superman in it. Um, Henry Cavill, I think, technically had like 48 or 49 lines yeah, in right. the entire movie. Yeah, that's true. Um, Henry Cavill, love him. He is... He's my he's Superman. My Superman's always gonna be Chris. The, the games. <laughs> my Superman's always gonna be Chris Reeves, um, yeah, because I grew up with respect. him. Because I grew up with him, and that's I love Henry Cavill. He's great. DC is doing a good job giving yeah. this generation their superheroes. My son is is Superman out now. After the movie, he even told me now my favorite hero is Superman for what he did in the movie. Um, obviously, yeah. the movie's been out for a while, so if you've seen it, obviously he died at the end saving Metropolis. Or I think they were in Gotham actually. Yeah, um, right. Killing Doomsday or Ninja Turtle Doomsday or whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Um, overall, <laughs> yeah, I love the movie. I know they have a lot of stuff coming. Um, they, we got The Flash and Aquaman and Cyborg were introduced exactly. there. Yeah. Great. So that's just my quick review on Superman since I promised it to you guys. I will be doing a full-fledged review on Civil War next week. We'll be going to Civil War. We saw them. I've seen it once. You've seen it twice. I'm going to watch it again. And the day, the day I watch it again, I'll give you the review on it. Um, Civil War, man, holy crap. Yes, that movie beyond. Was incredible. I, congratulations, Marvel. You have the best superhero movie out today right now. Yeah. But we will touch up more on that next week. Um, guys, thank you. This is Hectic Phase Productions with Geek Phase Weekly, or what we're going to the acronym is? GPW. GPW, we're putting that somewhere. Um, follow me at Hectic Phase 19. You are Viva La John? Viva yeah. La JDM. Viva, uh, Viva slash La slash JDM. I'll put it down here for you guys. Yeah, sorry. Just follow us here. And, then, and um, the, the page is actually Hectic Phase Comics on Instagram. Follow us there as well. And you'll get a lot of the behind the scenes and some funny things on there for uh, for what we're doing here. Um, thank you for tuning in. Like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. And subscribe. Always subscribe. Please subscribe. Share, subscribe. Let your friends know. You know, two awesome guys that are doing Abuelita this. Abuelita too, bro. Let, 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 let grandma know. Let Abuelita know. Um, anything else? That's it. That's pretty much it, bro.
once again, we want to let everyone know if you are in the Miami area and you are into mm, these things and you want yes. to participate or be part of our show or make a show your own and branch with us, feel free to contact us. The email is going to be right here as well. Um, email me. Let me know. The email is directly on me at all times. So I will respond. It is Roly responding to you? Um, that's all we got. So that's pretty much it. Um, guys, thank you for tuning in. And to sign off, remember, life is geek all day. Keep it together, guys. Thank you. Have a good one.